Hello, everybody. Good evening. I hope you all have had a nice day. Kya hal chal hai bachon? I can see Manas, Aman, Dishu, uh, Janvi, Phir Manas, Aman, Dishu, and Phir se Manas, Aman, Dishu. This proves Manas, Aman, or Dishu kitni chatting kar rahe hain. Bas unhi ka naam dikh raha hai mujhe. Satyam, good evening. Chetna Joshi, good evening. Hi, Prats. Good to see you. Yashvi, good evening. Yashvi with a double E. Yes, Janvi. Yes, Yashvi Goyal, red wali. Aha, okay. Manoj, hey. Durga Prasad, hey, hey. Aman Jain, you talk 19 to the dozen. Karthik Pathak, hi. Saksham, hi. Manshi, yes. Mahi, Anamika, Preeti Gura, yes. All of you, welcome to the session. Once again, a quick announcement. Up tak na, you must have heard this announcement like a lot many times in other classes. Still, it deserves a repeat. A repeat, a repeat, a repeat. On the 5th of September, 6 p.m. onwards, there's going to be something scintillating. So you just need to join that online. It's going to be an online live event at Bangalore and there will be certain announcements that will be made certain uh, what should i say mazedar announcements that will be made so just stay tuned guys go to that link jo aapko hai. yes yes manas you just need to go to that link and join fine and that will give you notification subscribe that will give you notification yes september 5th ko hardik yes i will get thrice my salary you will get a free subscription for a week, okay? And pigs will fly. Right, Ranima. Ranima, I think you are not there in the plus classes. So I'm happy to see somebody who is a non-plus person. Because these sessions on YouTube and special classes are generally done for people uh, who are not there in the plus classes. Don't mind the, light, the uh, power cut. Because in two minutes, generator will be on. Okay? Don't get distracted by that. Yes, everybody. So now we are going to get started. All of you, chalo. Hi, everybody. Aman kya soch raha hai? Soumya Jain, good evening. Mm -hmm. Pratish, hi. Okay. Now we have got some batches going on. The quick announcement for those two. Final stretch for CAT 22, elite batch for CAT 23. And you can join any of these batches which suit your requirement. All right. Then, of course, please note down the next date for AIMT. It is 11th September. 9-11, 9-11, uh, 11th September. Mm. But that was a disaster. This was not, this is not a disaster. This is something rocking. Ek dam zabardas poru. So, mark the date on your calendar, guys, September 5th and September 11th. All right. September 5th ko 6 p.m. and September 11th ko 12 to 2 p.m. All clear? Hardik, Yojit, Surbi. Aha, Manka. That's why I'm also going to be there. I'm going to meet the IM conveners and tell them, VRC me padhati hu. For my children's sake, please don't make it tough. Okay, Mankar. Hi, Deepak and all the others who joined late. Once again, good evening, guys, all of you. Chalo. Now let's set the ball rolling for the session. Okay, so this is the last mile series. I'm starting this series today. It's going to be there on TTS, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. And the timing will be fixed 9 p.m. That's the slot that I have fixed. Ask me why. Because my students generally are used to Shabana Ma'am ka class at 9 p.m. That's a permanent feeling wala thing, hai na? So instead of me moving the time and moving it here and there, I just thought let me do it at 9 p.m. so that it's going to be convenient for your brain, for your heart, for everything. Yes, Aman? Nahi pucha? Pucho. Hmm. All right, so this is the last mile cat VARC main idea questions and this is the first practice set. In every session, we will do one set. 
So today we are going to handle main idea questions. Some of you may have done main idea with me, but this is going to be good revision for you. For the others, this is going to be an absolutely new thing with me. Right, guys? So whether you are a newcomer or you're an old student, sharpen your fangs, put on your thinking caps, brace yourselves, strap yourselves to your seats and let's get cracking. Okay. Main idea bolte kisko hai Satyam, Aman, Kartikeya, all of you. Main idea is something which is the most important thing in a whole passage. We all know this, right guys? I mean, if you take out the main idea, when you start reading your passage, take out the main idea and that will help you kind of be more acquainted with the remaining parts of the passage. It will help you solve your questions quite easily, right? Okay, crux, yes. Yes, Manshi, it's going to be there. TTS. No, resolution will definitely be there. Resolution series is on special class. That's another series which is handling editorials. And this is last mile series which is handling practice sets. So, dono chalega simultaneously. Yes, Janvi. Okay, guys, now I don't want Faltu ka chit chat. Anybody who gets into Faltu ka chit chat now will be defenestrated from the class. And defenestrate Karega Khan, jo sabse bada chit chatter hai in the class, Aman. Okay? It's going to be his responsibility. Okay? So, Aman, sit tight now. Okay. Now, the main idea, as I said, you have to just understand the crux, the essence of the passage. How do we find out the crux or the essence? Very simple. We read the first paragraph. If the first paragraph is very long, we just take the first four to five lines. And then the last two lines of that paragraph, you know, guys, generally what happens is they give you a big paragraph in the beginning. And the main idea is somewhere at the bottom of that paragraph. Like the last two lines of that paragraph will be something like the main idea. Okay? So what we are going to do is we are going to just see the main idea nikalenge kaha kaha se. First paragraph, if the first paragraph is long, Janvi, we take from the first four lines and the last two lines, three lines. Otherwise, in some cases, it spills down to the second paragraph. But that is only in some cases. All right. Generally, it's not there in the second paragraph. Ho jata hai first paragraph mein nipta dete hai. And one very, very important thing. Sometimes the main idea is not there in the first or second paragraphs. It is there in the last paragraph. So what do we do for main idea to get like a clear main idea? We read the first paragraph. We try to take out the keywords from there. And then we go to the last paragraph in the end, of course. Take the last and first paragraphs, juxtapose them. And then we come up with the entire big picture. This is what we call main idea right and then one more tip over here in case you're not able to come up with a big sentence which explains your main idea no need to panic you just need to pick the keywords that's a smart technique which i teach my students right so pick the keywords at least keep a scribbling sheet ready and just note down your words over there you will be able to come up with the main idea more or less and eliminate from among the options Akansha Manas, everybody. Yes, done. Cool. Superb. I'm going to take up some questions now. And this is going to be the very first set of this last mile series. So, inshallah, this is going to help you a lot with your revision and practice and everything. Okay, Vivek Goyal. All right. Let's get started now. Now, what do we do when we see a passage? What's the first thing? We assess the passage. We assess the passage in like uh, 10 to 15 seconds. You know, we just kind of check the passage. Kitna bada passage hai. Paragraphs kaise hai. Like, you know, so we can see two paragraphs here. Then two over there, right? Four paragraphs. And then again two. So six paragraphs. Jan le lo. Hamari six paragraphs deke. No, but it's okay. Six paragraphs. But the paragraphs are pretty short and crisp and cute. So, jaan nahi jayegi hamari. Do not panic, sweethearts. Now, everybody. Yes, Kartikya. Let's check the first paragraph together. You are going to do it the way I'm going to train you. Okay? So, let's check the first paragraph, Kartikya. The Hu Akanksha Aman Manas. 
and it can I that's a very interesting one uh acha oh okay no that was manshi okay kuch aur vibe style vibe style that's a very interesting name all right okay let's check this hardik pandya uh -huh. hardik pandya okay malia bhat uh -huh. in a surprising marriage of science and art researchers at mit have developed a system for converting the molecular structures of proteins the basic building blocks of okay now you read the first paragraph and then you tell me what the main idea looks like come on janvi we all are going to read it science art shadi mit okay molecular structures of proteins the basic building blocks we know proteins are the building blocks of living beings into audible sound that resembles musical passages oh oh what's that then reversing the process they can introduce some variations into the music and convert it back into new proteins never before seen in nature what are they trying to do are they playing a game what exactly is this science art proteins getting converted into music and then music getting converted back into protein right janvi so now what do we do we check the first line of the next paragraph although it's not quite as simple as humming a new protein okay that's enough we understand that okay it's not so easy and then we move on to the next paragraph first line the system was developed by whom got it no need to read the whole paragraph kisne develop kiya kab laya theek hai all right sher singh thoda sa thand rakho puttar thoda sa okay the next paragraph while such a scale sounds unfamiliar to people accustomed to western musical traditions listeners can readily recognize the relationships and differences okay familiarizing sounds got it pehle unfamiliar lagega satyam and then they can familiarize themselves right then we go over to the next one the whole concept Bueller explains is to get a better handle or under, on understanding proteins and their vast array of variations. Okay, fine. Whole concept is for what? Being done for what? Better handle on understanding proteins and their variations. Fine. Got it. And the last paragraph. Come on, Karthik. Yeah, the last paragraph. We need to read that for sure because that is a very important paragraph. By translating that language into a different form that humans are particularly well attuned to. so humans know music so we are trying to convert proteins into music just so that humans can understand and that allows different aspects of the information to be encoded in different dimensions page volume duration buller and his team hope to glean new insights into the relationships and differences between different families of proteins variations oh oh that reminds me first paragraph may he said this proteins and the variations wow this is a good author you get the certificate mr author because a good author kind of sums up the entire thing and brings it up in his last paragraph okay and use this as a way of exploring the many possible tweaks and modifications okay as with music the structure of proteins is hierarchical with different levels of structure and different scales of length of time finished in order to get the main idea this is exactly what i would do i would read the first paragraph and then just a glance at the first line of every paragraph guys and then over to the last paragraph now just watch what i'm doing i pick the first and last paragraphs like this i juxtapose them okay and now i'm going to take the actual main idea from there if i'm not able to get the sentences come up with words at least so kya hai words jisme main kya samajh mein aaya molecular structure of proteins converting music right trying to understand last paragraph trying to understand the variations relationships okay many possible tweaks and modifications of the structure and function i just came up with words wonderful words instead of trying to come up with the entire sentence for my main idea that is where students generally get stuck when they start looking for a full sentence got it everybody so now when i if i take you over to the question and i show you the options will you be able to take out the main idea for me when i just check come on hardik pandya when i option 1 says humming a new protein into existence is not an easy task okay converting amino acid molecules into musical notes can help reveal protein structures 
लग रहा है थोड़ा थोड़ा कन्वर्ट कन्वर्ट प्रोटीन स्ट्रक्चर वेरिएशन अकॉर्डिंग टू माई वर्ड राइट आकांक्षा ओके The structures of amino acids are as complicated as musical passages. Maybe this is given somewhere, but is this the main idea? Ah, uh, you have to decide. Then option D: the possibility of converting protein structures into musical notes can be exploited to research their functions vis-a-vis -vis the structures. Now go on and eliminate purva. Purva, we don't miss anything important from the passage you will see now. Guys, you will give me two eliminations. No, I'm not asking for the answer. Naraz ho jaungi, main aapse baat nahi karungi. Don't give me the answer. I want two eliminations. Kaun kaun sa hoga elimination aapka? Please tell me. Yes, guys. Aman Jain says one and three, okay? Mm-hmm. Yes, Sahil, AC. Yes, Shibham. Okay, you guys got it. Well done, well done, well done. Madhuri, Manshi, Preeti, Pragya, Pooja, Janvi, you got it. Wonderful. A and C are safely eliminated. I don't know. Ye PDF me mera pen nahi aa raha hai. Next time I'll have to do PPT. Chalo koi nahi. Ajja ne do maaf kar do mujhe. Ha, okay. So A and C are eliminated, right, guys? Now we are left with B and D. Okay, Ashish. Prats A and C are out. We are left with B and D. What do we do, Prats and Purvi and the others, when we are left with B and D? We need to go back once again to the first paragraph and the last paragra paragraph, but before that. Look for the difference between the two. B is talking about converting amino acid molecules into musical notes can help reveal protein structures. And D says converting protein structures into musical notes can be exploited to research their functions vis-a-vis -vis the structures. Yes, Mahi, so I saw the difference between the two. I'm going back once again to the last paragraph and if the need be to the first also. Now you check guys and we go back and we give the answer. Come on everybody, you can do it. I love you all, okay? So just read carefully the last paragraph, okay? Connect it with the first paragraph, all right? I'll take you back to the first paragraph. Just check. Okay? Go back to the options, everybody. And that's it. Voila, you can give me the answer between B and D. Which one should be the answer? Come on, I need some answers, please. Nothing missed out, Napurva. Yay, I rest my case. Okay. Uh, some say B, some say D. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take you back. I'll go back once again with you guys. In a surprising marriage of science and art. Mm -hmm, okay. Now, the difference between the two options is one says converting amino acid into musical notes. Okay. The other one says converting protein structures into musical notes. And then the second one, I mean, that is D, talks about research functions and vis a vis the structures and all. I go back and I check. Hi, Aniket. In a surprising marriage of science and art, developed a system for converting the molecular structures of proteins, the basic building blocks of all living beings into this, 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 this. Right. And where is amino acids? Voila, that is there in the third paragraph, third line. It provides a systematic way of translating a protein sequence of amino acids into a musical sequence. All right. So, between B and D, B B theek lag raha hai, D B theek lag raha hai. Now go to the last paragraph. Okay. In the last paragraph, look very closely. Bueller and his team hope to glean new insights into the relationships and differences between different families of proteins and the variations and use this as a way of exploring the many possible tweaks and modifications of their structure and function right ah now i can see the right answer coming in yes you got it it is d 
Can I give you guys a tip over here? Everybody. If you love me, you're going to take this tip and get very serious about it. In any passage, Divya, in any passage, Pradeep, Purva, if there is solution or recommendation or future usage or application of that particular thing that has been explained, if that thing is given there, that assumes importance. Got my point? So amino acids ho chahe koi acid. Towards the end, they are talking about application of this to the world. And don't get carried away by the word exploited. Exploited is not always negative. We need to exploit this in order to get its benefits. So exploited can be negative as well as positive. Got it, guys? Right? So the answer was D. Yes, Purva, Prats, Aniket, Pallavi. Now we are going to go over to the next question. And by now you all have warmed up. You guys are going to do better and you will be faster. All right. Next one. Chal. First thing. What do we do together? Assist the passage. Kitne paragraphs? Mooche hai ke nahi? Stubble hai? Eyebrows kaise hai? Thick bushy? Eyes kaise hai? Beady hai? Almond shaped hai? Let's check. Okay. One para, two paras, three. Achcha, ye to bhaat chota sa hai. Mm -hmm. The main idea of this passage is, all right. I'm just showing you the first paragraph and then I'll take you to the last paragraph. You do this. Khush kar do hume. Chal, Simran, Hardik. The first line says touted. Touted means promoted. The first paragraph itself gives us the hero, gives us the tone. Right? Okay. The second paragraph contains an important first line. There have been several government acts in the past year which have caused this hesitation from investors regarding which place the first paragraph tells you that right don't read too much of the second paragraph purva you don't get main idea that way all right so now the last paragraph check this out Okay, Sonu, done. Now, the last three lines need to be read very carefully. To compound problems, the government licensed more manufacturers than originally agreed upon, further reducing the potential gains that the automobile company originally expected. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what do we do? So, ye ho gaya humara. now we go to the main idea of the passage. Let's check the main idea and let's check the options. The main idea of this passage is, Mm -hmm. Jeopardy means danger, Aniket. Several companies have stopped investing in Vietnam. Okay. The government is limiting foreign investment within Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So, it's my government. Third one. Other countries should adopt the Vietnamese government's policies towards foreign invest investors. Mm -hmm. Last one. Communist Party in Vietnam is sabotaging foreign investors. Don't you think process of elimination can work wonders over here? Who can give me the first elimination? Yay, 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 yay. First elimination, I want. Yes, Aman Jain. I love you for that. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yes. CD. Yes, yes, yes. CD, CD, CD. First one is D. Right? The Communist Party in Vietnam is sabotaging foreign investors. By Hoga. Kahin pe mentioned Hoga. One thread, Purva. It cannot be the main idea, Purva. Right? Divya. So, D is out. Then we are left with A, B, C. Next elimination, C. Other countries should adopt. Negative tone. Hai. End mein to kahi bola hi nahi hai. Ki haan, what Vietnamese government is doing is very good. Other countries should adopt. We should learn from them. Follow in their footsteps. Kaha hai? So, C, D out. It's between A and B. I can take you back if you want. Mm -hmm. One second. Hmm. 
Okay, check now. All right. Yes, Shubham Lawrence. Right? Okay. So what's the final answer? Yes, Manas. Yay! B is the answer. Yay! Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. The government is limiting foreign investment within Vietnam. You can go back and check if you want. Some foreign business people are starting to wonder if the potential that there's this. Then recent government decisions have dissuaded many foreigners from investing in large pro projects in Vietnam. And even in the end, it is talking about how the government has kind of uh, thrown a spanner in the works. And that is leading to some investors getting demotivated, right? So that is B. Yes, I'll take you over to the next one. Come on, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Third passage. All of you, you're feeling better now, I'm sure. Let's assess the passage. Ek, do, do hi paragraphs to dikh rahe mujhe. Okay, the internet and the world wide web have the potential to change the way. Okay, cool. Check this, guys. Chal. Yes, Manas. Talking about www. The second last line, Mana, gives you um, Manas, however, however, as with any technological advancement, there are problems which must be addressed before businesses can take full advantage of the online world. Aha, uh -huh, right, we get it. Mm -hmm. Deepak, Sonu, now the first line of the next paragraph. And then I show you the last paragraph. Come on, guys. Oh, that itself is the last paragraph. So, last ke do teen line dekh lije aap. Main idea wahi se aajayega. All do se padlo niche. Until these problems are addressed, net savvy, Aniket, somebody who knows how to operate the net. Yes, Manas. Mere nahi uske tone mein badlaava hai. Right? End line mein. Yes, Manav. And check the last two lines of the passage, Manas. Uh, until... These problems are addressed. The world of the internet and world wide web will be full of unrealized commercial potential. Right? Over to the question. Chalye. Check. Kariye. It's very, very, very easy, obviously. Hmm. You can eliminate, just go with POE, everybody. You know the Rambar, POE. Option A, are going to be dependable future business tools. What was the tone of the author, Manas, in the last two lines? Go with that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, option A is the first elimination. Mm -hmm. Then, option C. Online business practices have more cons than pros. Achha, more cons than pros. Oh, how do we know more cons than pros? Isne to khali analyze kiya hai. Where are the more cons and pros? Faulty comparison technique. So C is out. Right guys? We are left with B, D. But don't jalai le. We have to eliminate further and come up with the answer. Right? So between B and D. Look for the difference, Amanjan and everybody else. A myth prevails that most businesses will not benefit from the internet. A myth, okay? Option D, there are both potential benefits and current pitfalls of online business practices. What exactly is the main idea? Yes, Aman, Janwi, Akanksha, Manas, Arpita, Mahi. Yes, you guys got it. Brilliant, wonderful. We are done. Option D is the answer for this. This passage is just talking about the pros and cons, benefits and pitfalls, online business practices. Yes, you got it. Warming up in a nice way. Next one. Polygamy. Polygamy is, dekho, monogamy, monogamy, bigamy, polygamy. Ek shadi, do shadi, char shadiyan, aat shadiyan, whatever. Theke? Aaj ke zamane mein ek hi nahi chalti hai. 
So let's assess the passage first. Okay, how many paragraphs? Two, four, uh, four paragraphs, but okay, cute, short and sweet. Let's check the first paragraph. Polygamy in Africa. Read it, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at the last line of that paragraph. In Africa, co-wives may be perceived as direct and indirect sources of increased income and prestige. Whoa, wow. <laughs> then next paragraph, first line. Such arguments have become crystallized and popular. Many other African scholars, okay, leave that, move on. However, Manas, there's a change of tone. The colonial missionary voice provided consistent opposition to polygamy. Nahi chalega, nahi chalega. Ye nahi chalega. Okay, by viewing the practice as unethical and destructive to family life. So you're not off. Okay, and then the last paragraph. Contemporary research in the social sciences has begun to focus on the protagonist's voice in the study of culture. Protagonist, mere muh se aap hazar bar sun chuke. The crux, the hero. Thik hai, koi bhi cheez ka. Recognizing that the views and experiences of those who take part in a given reality ought to receive close examination. Okay. Done? All right, Manas, Aditya, Aniket, I'm taking you over to the options. Just take a look and then we can go back if the need be main purpose of the passage above now this is not main idea this is main purpose main purpose bullet the primary purpose primary purpose bullet the first para the first line of every subsequent paragraph and the last paragraph that gives us primary purpose so read this again is he trying to discuss scholarly works is he trying to trace the origins is he trying to argue for imposing restrictions or to discuss multiple perspectives. We'll go back. We'll go back. Don't be hasty, Simran. Okay. Uh, primary purpose means checking the first para, the last para, and the first line of every para. Okay. Out of these four, there is one that we can eliminate very easily, which was not the purpose. Come on, Manas, Aman, Simran. One option can be eliminated very easily. Give me that. And then we'll, we'll be left with three. Come on. Oh, yes. Wonderful. B is eliminated. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Trace the origins. No, he's not trying to trace the origins. Right, Saloni? Yes, B is out. Ah. So I'm left with three. Discuss scholarly works. Argue for imposing restrictions. Discuss multiple perspectives. Mm -hmm. We'll go back. All right. Mm -hmm. Purpose kya hai? Kyo likha hai isne ye passage? Back to the options A, C, and D. You give me the final answer. I think it's pretty easy. I mean, go with the tone, Akansha. Okay. Right. B to eliminate ho gaya tha Karan Chawda. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Awesome. All of you got it. D is the answer. Yes. Between A, C and D, D is the answer. Very good. See, first elimination was B for those of you who did not understand. Why? Because this was like, you know, origins. He was not trying to trace the origins. Second elimination would be this, to argue for imposing restrictions. Is he writing the passage because he wants restrictions to be imposed on polygamy? No, he just says over there that, you know, yaha pe, uh, protagonist views the, the woman the, or in fact the women who are there as part of that polygamy drama, their views should be taken, right? So, ye bola hai, isne, that's it. 
So argue for imposing restrictions out, B and C out. Now it's between A and D. And then the game becomes very easy, guys, because you can see what is going on in A. To discuss scholarly works, yes, yes, Manas, that looks correct. That view polygamy as a sign of prestige, respect, affluence in the African society. Not just that. That was in the beginning part of the passage. He said how it was considered a matter of prestige. But then later he came up with some other views also. Which opposed. However, yaad hai aapko? Ye wala. Shit, here I'll show you. Yeah. However, the first line of this paragraph. So it shows you a change of tone. Yes, Adi. Exactly. That is why we cannot take A as the answer. And D is definitely left up as the answer. Cool. Done. All right. I'm taking you over to the next question. Come on. Hmm. Let's check the passage first. Biologists advance two theories. Okay. Schooling of fish. Okay. Hamari schooling to hoi nahi paati hai. Thik thak schooling of fish hi jai. Oh, all right. Chalo, jokes aside. Okay. All right. Take a look, guys. You all know what schooling means, right? A school of fish or a shoal of fish. It's a group. A collective noun for fish ka group. Take care. That is school or shoal. S-H-O-A-L. So biologists have advanced two theories to explain why schooling occurs in so many fish species. Okay. Kyo karte hai wo group? Group bazi kyo kar rahi hai? Schooling is particularly widespread among species of small fish. Both theories, do nikli hai theories, both assume the same thing that they give protection from predators. Okay. All right. Now we read the first paragraph and then just check the first line of the next paragraph and go down. First, usme theory A ka description hai, then next wale mein critics of theory A. Just that much is enough. Do not try to go into the details for a main idea or primary purpose question. Let's go over to the options now. Main purpose. Kyo bait ke likha tumne ye passage, Mr. Author? That is called main purpose or primary purpose. Okay. So let's check the options. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Fish, fish, fish. Ah. Okay. Here. There's another paragraph for this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, ah. Okay. Got it. Here, there's another paragraph for this. They advocate theory B, the confusion effect. Now check the options. Come on, guys. He's concerned with what? Discussing different theories, analyzing different techniques, defending two hypotheses, refuting established beliefs. Go with POE, Manas, Vishal, Aditya, Sonu. You will get it in a jiffy. I'll take you back. Ye aisa kyu ho raha hai? Wait. Kuch na kuch to problem hoti hi hai, hai na? Haan, okay, here. All right. Check the first paragraph. Yes, Dishu, Pallavi, Miskat, Manas. Check the first paragraph. And then the first line of every paragraph. Strictly stick to those lines. And that will give you the uh, main purpose, the primary purpose. Bez do na, Aman. वेट ही कर रही हूँ मैं तुम मुझे कब गुरु दक्षिणा में दोगे नया पीसी हम्म ऑल राइट सो प्रोपोनेंस ऑफ थियरी ए हावेवर क्रिटिक्स ऑफ थियरी ए एंड देन ही ब्रिंग्स इट डाउन टू एडवोक दे एडवोकेट थियरी बी एस द कंफ्यूजन इफेक्ट व्हिच कैन बी एक्सप्लेन्ड इन टू वेज एंड देन यू गो डाउन एंड देन लाइक यू नो � now we come down to the options. Don't worry. Kitti bhi problems. We will manage. The show must go on. Huh? Discussing different theories, analyzing different techniques, defending two hypotheses, refuting established beliefs. I can easily eliminate C and D. I'm left with only two choices. Discussing different theories. 
लुक फॉर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू ऑप्शन एक में थियरीज है दूसरे में टेक्निक्स है Why is the author sitting and writing this passage? Theories or techniques? Go back if the need be. Pick the keywords and you will get it. Yes. Now you tell me. Yes, indeed, it is A. Very good. You guys got it. He is not writing this because he wants to discuss techniques. No way. It is just theories, theories, theories. He is talking about theory A, theory B, how is cook criticized kya gaya, is cook refute kya gaya, is cook kya gaya, wo kya gaya, that's it. Yes, Akanksha, next one, please come on. Let's check the passage now. Literary scholars, we completed how many questions? Five, okay, over to question six. Literary scholars, okay, so how big is the passage? Two paragraphs, four paragraphs, okay, five, five paragraphs, okay, okay, but short and cute and simple and sweet. So let's check the uh, relevant portion. Third line says, indeed. Aha. Uh -huh. I can see that it looks like a book review kind. Aha, uh -huh, we have discussed this in genre when we were doing it in the plus classes. Right? The next. Hmm. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, we are done with these two paragraphs. Then the next one here. Negative criticism was partially a result of what? Got it? Last paragraph. Come on, guys. Okay. Main idea. Kya hai? Come on, Manas. So, this is not primary purpose. This is main idea. The first paragraph, the last paragraph. I'll take you back. Shall we go back? Yes. Okay. Chalo. Check now. Main idea hai first para, last para. If the need be, you can take the first line of every para. But it won't be needed. The last line of this paragraph requires interpretation. Let's see if you can do it. And then we go over to the last paragraph and the options. Yes, Pallavi. We can easily eliminate now. Two options will be left. You need to go back and verify. Very, very easy if you go back and interpret that paragraph. Need to go back? Chalo Pallavi. One more time, we will go back to the first paragraph. Hey, here we come. Mm -hmm. Hi, Anushika. Good to see you. Manas, you are going to get this answer. I have that gut feel. The third last line, as you can see, uh, looks like a question pocket. Thus, it seems necessary to ask why their eyes, that's the name of the book, Pallavi, 
a work now viewed by a multitude of readers as remarkably successful in its complex depiction was ever relegated to the margins of the literary canon hey bhai wo tangrezi jhad gaya mm -hmm. over to the options now chalo no more going back that's enough let's see if you can give me the answer mm -hmm. janvi Ma pallavi manas mahi Yes, the man, give me the answer. You are Shakespeare ka mama. Okay. Come on, Pallavi. And okay. Satyam says D. Some people are saying D. Prachi says C. Manshi C. Prashant says D. Okay. All right. I'm happy. I'm happy about this. Yes, Anuj, you are left with C and D. Very good, Yashvi and Mahi and Akanksha. C and D are the two in the race. The others are out. Now, if I take you back, guys, you have to see it's given there very, very clearly. Dekho yaha pe. Yaha se dekho. Thus, it seems necessary, all right, to ask why aisi kitab, which is now, viewed by many readers as what as a remarkably successful thing in its complex this was ever relegated kabhi kuch vakt pehle inko is book ko dala gaya tha margins of the literary canon means literary society ka jo side dustbins kinare why was it ever put on the side shelves earlier now that it is being accepted by a multitude of readers got the point so this is the actual thing this is the main idea not that the book is successful but the thing is we need to find out why it happened and that's why between c and d c is the answer because it contains this portion they were not able to appreciate it earlier until critics applied new standards of evaluation to the novel got it guys so c is the answer clear Everybody, any iota of doubt you can ask me, Sankalp. Yes, Mahi, you told me. Yes, I know. Very well done. All right, one last question before we call it a day. Uh, call it a night, rather. The primary purpose of the passage is to, same passage, but primary purpose. We took out the main idea. One book now being read by the readers. Earlier, it was put on the side stands. Okay, uh, it was like not uh, not accepted very well. So, what is the purpose of the author? Kyo betha hai ye likhne? Come on, Prashant. Correct a misconception. Explain a reassessment. Reassessment means reevaluation. Reconcile two points of view. Ek saath lana. Criticize a convention. Go with elimination. You will get the answer easily. I am getting it. Yeah, yeah. Was it a misconception? Was it an assessment, a reassessment? Was he reconciling or was he criticizing a convention? My first elimination is D. Simran cat may maybe ki to jage hoti ni hai. First elimination is D, Arpita. I'm sure you'll agree with me. Right, Sankalp? Okay. Then I'm left with ABC. Now, next elimination is C. Reconcile two points of view? No, he's not trying. There are reconcile kab hota when there is a debate going on. So he tries to be the mediator and then he tries to reconcile the two points of view. No, he's not doing that. There is no debate or controversy going on. So I'm left with A and B. Right? Yeshvi, I'll go with you. Pallavi, I'll go with you. Yes, it is B. Explain a reassessment. The book was re-evaluated. It was reassessed. Critics took it up again. They gave a different assessment of it. And then readers started accepting it. They started embracing it with open arms. Earlier, it was not there. So option B is the correct answer. A will be eliminated because correct a misconception? No, it was not a misconception. They did not accept it. It was not evaluated properly by the critics. That is what he has said. Okay. 
So that is why B is the answer. We are done. Aman, there was no misconception before. No, it was just that, you know, yaha dekho, aapne, you just did the main idea. Main idea, mein, it was C. C mein clearly diya hai, Aman. Critics applied new standards of evaluation to the novel. Since they reassessed it, it was accepted back by the readers. Mm -hmm. Because of the critics' assessment, initial assessment, it was not accepted. So now it was accepted. And that is why primary purpose has to be connected with assessment or evaluation. Manas, got it? Go, eat, drink, make merry, be my sunshine. Before you go, you know what I had today? Something sinful. I had waffle with chocolate cream in between. So I feel like, you know, I have gained like maybe 2 kgs, 3 kgs, 4 kgs, something. So I'm regretting it a bit, but then, oof, it was amazing, amazing. You also go and eat well, guys. Take care and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Yes, Manas. Okay. For those of you who are planning to take a subscription, I mean, if you don't have it yet, please take a subscription and use my referral code Shabana Live. S-H-A-B-A-N-A-L-I-V-E. I forgot to mention my code today on a slide because Jaldabazi mein maine prepare kiya tha. So next time onwards, I'm going to keep that bada bada Shabana Live. I need you to take your subscription using my referral code. It's a humble request. All right. And yes, TTS may you're going to find these classes in the same slot, 9 p.m. Okay. Tomorrow, that is second, we start two new courses. Bam, bam, new courses tomorrow. One is types of questions and the other is a crash course for people who, are, who have just joined the platform and they're looking for some kind of a one-stop solution. Got it, guys. So tomorrow we have got two courses coming up. And if you're taking a subscription, use my referral code. Shabana Live. S-H-A-B-A-N-A-L-I-V-E. I'm going now. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. Take care. Yeah, Manas. Khaoge to mere Bye, Pallavi. Bye.